Our very own Anna Whiteley has been picking up expert tips from players and coaches around the world in recent weeks to improve her game and hopefully yours too. Wow! Today she's back at her home course, Bearwood Lakes in Berkshire, and she's joined once again by world-renowned coach Simon Holmes. So while Simon here has been helping me on my game, we also like to help you guys at home. So Simon, we've had a couple of guys on Twitter. We've had Greg Armstrong, who'd like some help on 60 yards and in, and Brian Fairbrother on his chipping. So how can you help? OK, so Anna, first of all, we're going to do 60 yards, OK? I think that this now becomes almost like a mini golf swing, all right? Mini golf swing with a, a little difference. So I would say, you know, if I think about my wedges, <clears throat> my, my goal from here is how close I can hit it to the pin, not just sort of taking the, the, the always the 60 or the 56 and hitting a full shot. So I would recommend to most people, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 52, which would be my middle wedge. Okay. All right, middle wedge. A, a, an easier club for me to have a sort of a smaller, more compact action to control the shot. Right. Okay, so it's not always a case of, okay, it's obviously 60, I should reach for my 60 degree wedge and try to hit it as hard as I can. That yeah. brings in unnecessary errors. So, okay. shot selection, play something you can easily get to the target. Okay, so 52. And the key things here, <clears throat> I'm going to have a sort of a golf swing feeling with my arms, but my body's going to be much more stable. So I don't need a big weight shift and weight, sh weight shift really hurts me. Okay. I need to be so precise on where my club grounds out on the ground. So what I'm going to do, a little bit of a narrower stance. Okay. I like to have my left foot a bit, left foot a bit more open. Okay. All right. And that helps me to turn through when I've got less speed as I have on this shot. So for me, this feeling is sort of mostly arm swing and shoulders, and I just let my lower body um, try to stay as stable as possible. So the goal in the address, really to make sure that chest bone sits right on top of the golf ball. That's going to be the place where the club is going to ground out. Okay? Right. And once I've set it there, I'm going to stay there. So maybe even sort of like 70% of your weight starts on your left foot. And if it starts there, it stays there. So there's no weight shift. Okay. So weight shift back or weight shift forward is going to make it much more difficult for me to hit the ball as precisely as I want. Okay. So okay? stay solid. Stay solid. So I like to grip down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> 52, grip down a little bit. And it's really a feeling of sort of letting my arms go up my chest, a little bit of wrist set. Okay. Come back down and really kind of keep my arms and my chest linked up and working as a unit. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you one. Yeah. So weight on that left foot's really going to stay there. Easy as that. And you can see, you know, three quarter shot right on the yardage and I've got a great chance uh, to hold that putt. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. Okay. So we so want the 54. 54 is fine, yeah, absolutely. So just set yourself up in address there. Yeah. So feel like your, your chest, you're trying to get your chest bone to be level to the ball. So yep. a little bit of weight on that left foot yep. there. Slightly open foot. Yeah, head. just to help you turn through. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and let's have a look at the swing. Okay, probably gonna need a little bit more than that. Let those wrists set. There, that's the one. Okay. Okay. Keeping it all together as one. All together, steady on that left foot and it's arms and chest together as a unit. Nice. Lovely shot. Lovely yeah. shot. So from here, I think the focus is more, you know, what shot, what club can you easily control? Yeah. I think most amateurs will make the mistake of just reaching for their 60 or reaching for their 56 and then being under pressure to sort of thrash it. Excellent. Okay, and that can bring in errors. So stable and simple, don't hesitate to use different clubs. Wonderful. Another fantastic tip. Thank you so much.